BandCentral.com. I'm Joey Blackwell here with Austin Hannon and Blake Byler following Alabama Basketball's 78-52 to victory over the Kentucky Wildcats. Guys, a lot of takeaways from this game against, even though Kentucky might not be ranked, they still, as Nate said, it's still Kentucky that they're having to play. So, Austin, what were your takeaways from today's game? Yeah, Kentucky is Kentucky, but they're not the usual Kentucky, I don't think. Um, <laughs> I think this is more of a Kentucky team where you see they maybe have a year off. And I've given them a lot of credit this year so far. I think they're still probably a top 25 team in basketball when you put it on paper. But on the road, like Cal Perry said, they've been miserable. And it can, they were horrible at Missouri. They were horrible today. And he kind of asked, you know, is that ever going to change this year? If not, they have no chance of winning an SEC or really anything beyond that. So let's not take all the credit away from Alabama and put it on Kentucky. But, yeah, Alabama was great today. Um, probably the most complete performance they've had all year. And, you know, Brandon Miller's still Brandon Miller, but everybody else kind of got in on the fun today. I thought Javon Quinterly played great off the bench. You know, he saw him talk a little bit. He got a technical foul, but you want that energy from your team, and I think Alabama did a great job of that. Yeah, you provide a perfect segue there talking about individual players. Brandon Miller, like you said, led the team with 19 points and seven rebounds. But the star of the show, arguably, uh, probably not even arguably, was Charles Bediaco, had it, one of the best defensive, if not the best defensive game of his life against uh, the Nace with Player of the Year from last year in Oscar Sheway. Blake, what did you see out of Charles Bediaco, and what did you see from that matchup with Sheway as a whole today? Yeah, well, Sheway was held to just four points on one of seven shooting from the field. Bediaco had one of his best offensive games of the year with nine points. I think he was four of six from the field. Uh, Bediaco also played 29 minutes, which is the most he's played since that four overtime game against North Carolina. So he was on the floor a lot. He was on the floor often. And he honestly played Sheway out of the game because Sheway got into some foul trouble late. But even early, Cal Perry said that uh, after a couple of dunks that Bediaco got um, over Sheway in pick and roll scenarios, that they had to pull him out of the game because of how effective he was on the defensive end. Uh, just so from Charles Bediaco's defense, being able to alter shots and being able to give Sheway trouble uh, down low to even dominating him on the offensive end, Bediaco just completely took uh, last year's National Player of the Year out of the game, which is a really impressive performance from Bediaco. From here, Alabama moves to 13-2. and They are now 3-0 and in SEC play. Um, and from here, like I said, they will head uh, up to North Fayetteville, North Carolina, to take on the number 13 Arkansas Razorbacks before returning back here uh, to host the LSU Tigers in what should be a good game on Saturday. For BamaCentral.com, I'm Joey Blackwell here with Austin Hannon and Blake Byler. This has been Bama Central Courtside. So long from Coleman Coliseum.